Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit from the science fiction edge. Here we have Michael Godier and Isaac Arthur discussing AI. And I have made the point that if AI were to do something terrible, like start a big war, kill off millions of people, use nuclear bombs, then we've already seen that. And AI is the philosophy operating in the larger, spread out diaspora of our neocortex all around the world, people thinking and believing and acting based on ideas that have been spread from other people such that there's a commonality of their actions. None, no one of which person is in charge of the whole structure. You're either to take part in the structure or it will destroy you. And that was uh, AI operating independently of the humans involved. That was World War II. I don't think that AI is ever going to suddenly come out of nowhere on us, but rather it will be something we do cautiously and under supervision and regulation, and it won't surprise us at all. Um, after that, though, it's just hard to say. Uh, you know, I never worry about an AI that uh, is super smart than us and kills so off in the classic sense. I worry more about the one that is super charismatic and talks you into killing yourselves off or letting it be in charge. That is communism. An AI that is super charismatic and talks you into killing yourselves off or letting it be in charge. That is socialism, communism, altruism, bad philosophy. It talks you into killing yourself off. Right? There are very few ways to flourish, but very, very many ways to commit suicide. So bad philosophy is just one of the ways to commit suicide. So, scary or dangerous AI is already with us, and it's already destroyed whole cities, populations, continents, nations, generations. Tens of millions of people have been laid low by dangerous, scary artificial intelligence, which is the distributed dis de description of reality or the distributed directions for action by philosophy in the neocortex of millions of people.